So here we're taking a look at the brush track, Tom Sawyer. Uh, and it starts off with a 16th note feel played upon the hi-hat. And this feel uh, is generally played throughout, even with the, the time signature change into 7-8. Sometimes it moves up onto the ride symbol, but we're still having to uh, uh, work with the 16th note feel. So um, the intro feel, um, I'll just play the first few bars just to give you a, a, a feel of, the, uh, of what's being played. It sounds like this. After the first few bars, there's quite a tricky four bar passage that happens twice, though the second time you hear it, we don't have the crash on beat two on the cymbal. So I'm going to play that section through as you'd hear it on the uh, recording, but just a little slower. The main thing you've got to contend with here is opening the hi hat on the second 16th note of beat one. And there's also an open hi hat on the last 16th note of beat three. So uh, the footwork that, that requires might, uh, may take a little bit of practice. So here's that four bar passage anyway. At the end of this verse, there's a figure that appears throughout the track. Um, and as the track progresses, uh, the, the fills that get played through this figure gradually become more and more complicated. So this first one's quite simple in comparison. Uh, and it sounds like this. Then it's over up onto the ride symbol for another three bars of time before we get that fill again. There's some tricky uh, 30 second notes on the bass drum here as well. So I'm going to play this uh, section where we first move up to the ride symbol a little slower into that figure again as well. Back to the verse feel here, starting off on the hi-hat and then moving over onto the ride cymbal. But the kick drum pattern is essentially the same, and that feels like this. Then we're on to the four bar bridge section come back down off the, off the ride cymbal onto the hi-hats. This time I've got an eighth note hi-hat feel with the hi-hat slightly open. And uh, I'll play that section for you uh, slowly. It's a five bar section and uh, it sounds like this. Here we're into uh, the instrumental section, and it goes back to the 16th note feel on the hi-hat for four bars, a 4-4, four, four, and then we switch to 7-8, so we've lost the last eighth note off the bar. So what I'm going to play now is those four bars after the bridge section, and then the four, first four bars of the 7-8 feel. So in that 7-8 feel, we've lost that last eighth note. So you would count that as 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the back beat's falling on beats three and seven. So here's just a simplified version of that seven eight feel. In after seven. The first four bars of that seven eight section cycle round twice. And then there are two more bars tagged on the end of that before the guitar solo starts. That, what is the tenth bar there, has a uh, quite a tricky fill leading into the guitar solo when we move up onto the ride cymbal. So j let's just take a look at that. Let me play it for you first and then I'll uh, 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 show you how you can approach that. So we've got these, uh, uh, the same figure played twice, once on the snare, once on the racked on. Uh, and uh, you could play that with a right, left, right, left, left sticking. And by putting those two lefts in there, it keeps it in the, in the right hand for when you play the, the crash coming out of that. So here it is slowly. We're into the guitar solo now, and we've got uh, a five bar phrase consisting of three bars of 7 8, one bar of 7 16, and one bar of 3 8. But it's a lot simpler than it sounds. Uh, I'm going to play that through for you uh, slowly, and, uh, and then I'll, I'll break down what happens in the individu individual bars. So after 7, Those first two bars are straightforward enough, and uh, once again sound like this. In the third bar there, we've got some more 30 second note action on the bass drum, so I'll just cycle that third bar around so you can hear how that works. And our bar of 7.16 and, and 3.8 uh, simply end the phrase like this. After we've played that four bar pattern twice, things really start to heat up a bit. Over on the ride cymbal, we've got uh, a lot more uh, syncopation going on with the bass drum, and we're also punctuating, punctuating some of the figures over on the china cymbal. And there's also uh, an over the bar line feel to the time pattern here. So uh, let me play you the, uh, the, the six bars running into where the, the drum breaks start, uh, first of all. And then we'll break down what's going on in the, in the individual bars. Uh, the first bar is just straightforward enough with the 7-8 feel. Then we start to get this implied uh, over the bar line feel. Uh, as though uh, we're playing 4-4 uh, four, four through the 7-8. Uh, so let me just play that, uh, that six, uh, those six bars just a little slower. Sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> 